right, what up, people? Welcome back. It is the most average couple on YouTube, but don't let that distract you from the fact that we are also your favorite couple, okay? Exactly. So, yeah, we're back. Couple on a couch. Um... Uh, it's been a couple weeks, and the last one we did, the last few, we weren't even on a couch. So we're finally back on a couch. It took a lot of Claire convincing me that we need to be on a couch to do this. It was borderline argument. Yeah, I just didn't want to move everything. But, but you know what? Insisted. It's okay. So, yeah, if you like it on the couch, slap that like button, okay? But what happened this week, babe? Did you do anything cool? Yeah. What'd you do? I Well, no, not really. But Yeah, I didn't do anything either. But this is the thing. We have so much updating to do. We have not spoken to the people. Did you fart? No. <laughs> That must have been from your butt. We have not spoken to the people in so long. There's just been so much that has been happening. Our lives are just full yeah. of adventure. A lot of big life changes. <laughs> a lot of business going on. We've just done so much lately. It's It might be better just to not say anything. Exactly. Because when we start, it just this is going to be like a five-hour podcast. So yeah, we're just not going to talk about any of that. But uh, one thing I want to talk about is I was browsing Twitter, uh, I guess today, honestly, is when I saw it. And there is this invention going quite viral. And uh, most of the time when an invention goes viral, it's either because it's amazing yeah. or really stupid. And this could be both, I guess. Uh, it is a tent. Cool, right? Cool. <laughs> that floats on water. In the ad video, it just shows Wait. some guy blowing the tent up, jumping in the tent and floating across the river. Wait, that has to be like some Twitter fake thing. There's like no way. People would literally get in it. If there's a hole in it or something, what if it, it pops while you're sleeping, you would die? Well, yeah, that... Or you fall asleep in the tent and there was a huge gust of wind and now you're 500 miles into the Pacific Ocean. Okay, but what I mean, what, but you probably wouldn't be doing that in an ocean. You probably would be using a tent like that, like at a lake, right? That's like more like dormant. And by dormant, I mean like not waves or waterfalls. Mm, maybe, but still think if you're in the middle of the lake and that thing pops, you're, you're in a rough spot. Like maybe a pool, maybe a pool, the floating tent. There's no way this is real. It's, it's legit. It's legit. It's a legit. It's legit. Thing. Like it's like you could go buy it right now. How Prop much? How much does it cost? I don't know. Five hundred bucks. Look at that. Five hundred bucks to pretty much just be doomed to your death. It's called the Shoal Tent. And it's not an actual thing. You can't even buy it. It's just Twitter doing Twitter. Oh, there's an article about it. You don't. 2000 Wait, you're telling me that you're expecting me to spend $2,000 on a tent that allows me to float in the water that I pretty much probably am going to die in because if it pops, you're done. Yeah, there better be like an anchor system or something. But $2, for $2,000? Yeah, two grand. You could probably buy something much more useful. Do you know how much like Taco Bell you could buy with two grand? Do you know how much makeup you could buy with two grand? Do you know how much money you could Pizza. buy with two grand? <laughs> I mean, you could take that two grand, put it in like a Roth IRA account, get 2% annually so that 2000 could turn yeah, to 2000 I'm bored. I'm bored. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if anything I just said was factual. But yeah, uh, that's cool. That tent, whoever invented that, probably keep the tents on land. Just in my opinion. Like, I would love to know who, what, like, target market, you know, like, who are they really targeting in that, and who would actually buy it? Don't buy it, Andrew. For 2000 Andrew, that's, please don't buy it. If it was, it. like, 300 I might buy it as, a like, a joke, like, a gift for someone, but two grand, I'm out. That is so much money. But at least you know you're buying, like, if that's you're going to- like, two grand is, I feel like, reasonable for something that you're going to buy that's going to float. Yeah, if you're buying something that your life <laughs> depends on, you should probably spend a little bit of money on it. Probably. What else, babe? What did you do? Like, did you see anything cool in the news uh, or anything? Yeah. I don't know if you care about this or you know about this, but I am just here to say that officially love is dead. It's dead. Are I, you, you know, breaking up with me? Maybe. I don't know. After this weekend or week, I maybe. Liam Hensworth and Miley Cyrus are separated. They are not officially divorced yet, but they're separated. And then she released a song about their separation, Whoa. and it's been crazy. That and was I think quick. I kind of feel like I'm one of the only people that actually cares about this or feels invested. I don't know why I feel invested. I don't know these people, and I don't know what they're going through, but you know. See, my question is she had to have known this divorce was coming no they're not divorced andrew they're separated what does that even mean like they haven't filed for divorce they're still together but they're gonna get a divorce i don't know i'm assuming when she comes out with a song well that's that what says, i'm saying that's wait what's the title of the song fly away stay away say see you later sail away slip away smell you later liam 
Wait, this is going to bug me now. But while you're looking that up, I'm just confused because it takes artists like years to make an album, right? But she takes like, when, how long ago did they break it's up? It's just an EP. Well, the rumor is that they broke up in June. So it's been oh, a while. So then that but makes now sense. But like now it just came out because she was seen kissing Brody Jenner's ex-wife. Who's Brody Jenner? Lord, you need an update on pop culture. I don't know. I don't know. It just, you know, for me, I just more feel like love is dead. Like these people have been in love since the last song. Then they broke up. Miley went all crazy. And then, you know, they got back together and they got married. So everyone was like, wow. So it's her fault, Miley. No, we don't know whose fault it is. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to talk about the situation. I'm talking about the fact that this proves that love is dead. Or maybe they just weren't in love. Or maybe they were. In pop culture manipulated their minds oh, okay. in defining the, oh sh- maybe. on that i don't know i'm just saying if you're writing a song about your lover was it really love think about it no it wasn't yes, but if we was. want to talk about real love uh i was attacked by a poisonous toad no, it, was. it might not have been poisonous but it was a, this is a violent attack let me tell you wait okay? this is the second time that we've talked about frogs i know right wow it might be the same frog actually no i think this one was a little smaller but Pretty much last night, well, two nights ago when this is going live, uh, my aunt's dog is spending the night with us, okay? And she needed, it's a puppy. Oh, we'll little, talk about that later. A cute little puppy. And she needed let out at like 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. So me being the good person I am, I got the dog at 3 a.m. Oh, don't act like you weren't up already. Yeah, I was still up editing videos. Grinding, baby. But I had the dog in my hand like this, okay? Like its paws are oh, here, okay. You know? And I was walking outside. And then I was walking to the grass and I felt something hit my leg. It was just like, and I didn't really think of anything. I think, oh, maybe I bumped into something. I don't Mm -hmm. know. So I put the dog down and I was like, I wonder what I bumped into. I turned around. Boom. It was a frog. That frog tried attacking me. Did Did it like attach to your leg? I don't know. How do you not know? What do no. you mean? You're just so scared. It jumped and you're trying. Are you trying to act all manly? Be Here's like, my foot. Okay, I'm, I'm and walking then. like this. Boom, boom, boom. And the frog goes whoop, boop. Hit me in the leg. Hit you like bounced off of you or like stuck to you. It bounced off me. Okay. Well, well, I mean, it's not. I can't be punished <laughs> because I have very muscular calves and they're like a spring effect when something hits it. So what'd you do? Did you just scream like a little baby? Well, I didn't know it was a frog until I looked back and saw that it was a frog. And I was like, oh, wow, that was a frog. What did you think it was? Just like a big cicada? No, I, I didn't know what hit. I thought like I bumped into something. I thought I like a bucket maybe. Or so something. you don't know for a fact that it was a frog that hit you? No, I, <laughs> I know it was a frog because I turned around and saw that it was a freaking frog. Because I saw nothing was in my path and I started walking and something mm-hmm. hit me in the leg. And I was like, what did I just hit? And I turned around and it was a frog. I was like, oh, mm. that frog just tried killing me. Mm. But unfortunately for him, I'm freaking like a uh, black belt in freaking some weird sort of martial arts that involves toad <laughs> that involves reflective powers so that frog might not make it okay but seriously let's talk about this puppy this is a great dane puppy okay which which let me say in my defense i have always wanted a great dane puppy it is my dream puppy and the last puppy that i ever want that andrew and i will never get will be a german shepherd i'm just saying that on camera that's going to be for everyone to hear. But listen, I helped take care of this puppy this weekend. And let me tell you, I'm saying this out of the depths of the truth of my heart. Mm-hmm. We are never getting a puppy. Ever. Literally ever. Because you know what? Those things are so much work. I got the worst sleep I've ever gotten in my entire life. You it's practically know. like a step down from a flipping baby. Okay. The thing is, Claire's used to going to bed at 9 p.m., waking up at 8 a.m., yeah, uh, and I like peaceful listen, sleep. I like she turns on her little air diffuser thing, no. <laughs> sleeps peacefully. Listen. Andrew, my pillow isn't as fluffy as it no. needs to be. Can I get another no. one? That's how Clara no, is. Listen. She doesn't know what it's like to get bad listen. sleep, bro. I get listen. four hours a night and I'm good. I like my peace and tranquility. And I'm just saying, we are at a time in our lives where I do not want to introduce a puppy to that. It is too much work. So and guess what? A- oh, no. Don't even act like I wouldn't be the one that would be doing all the work. You would, oh, take the puppy out at 3 a.m. when you're already up working. You wouldn't do anything else. I would be the one picking up the poop picking up the pee picking up the pick whatever up the i don't know the vomit you yeah pick up dogs pee you pick up pee if they have an accident on the floor you well, wouldn't even what? know that guess you what didn't pick you'd it be up. responsible and put the dog outside before they pee on the floor no i'm just saying if you're not Andrew. responsible enough that's one thing no that's one thing i'm Do just not saying put us on the dog we are not getting a dog 
either ever or for a very, very long time. It doesn't even make... For, I'm getting a puppy. No, you're not. One of these days, you're going to come you home get a and puppy? I'm going to say, hey, babe, look, I got twins. Boom. No. I'm going to have two same No. Bernard's. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> you will have two puppies and zero yep. girlfriends. Hey, maybe those puppies will treat me nicer than you treat me. Oh, oh my God. baby. And then I'm going to have Instagrams so and they're going to get famous and I'm going to live off my dog's wealth. And yeah, we usually don't do free brand deals here, okay? But this place <laughs> We've never even deserves had a, brand deal. a shout out. Velvet Taco oh my God. in Texas Ooh. was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Not food, thing. I've seen a lot of incredible things. I've seen Mount Rushmore. I've seen Niagara Falls. You have? I've seen Wait, the hold on. You've been pyramids in Niagara Falls? In Egypt. Oh. I've seen it all on TV. But this taco place surpasses all of them with flying colors. That was a very smart little sentence I just said right there. Wow. Yeah, it was good. It was good. They deserve a shout out. Velvet Taco. That's all up. you're going to say about yeah, it? Yeah, I know. This don't, is what I'll say about it. Words cannot describe no, listen. the simplistically intelligent design just because of you this said, Just because you said one smart word doesn't mean that you can just keep rolling with it. Listen, Andrew and I went on a date night there. We looked for a good taco place. We got there. These tacos were so good. I really liked it because they had vegan options. They had this vegan tofu fried like buffalo andrew oh sorry I fell asleep maybe some people want to hear about this i know one person's listening right now vince leave a comment below and tell me how much you wanted to hear about claire's vegan tacos i'm just saying they were good oh! oh that's karma that is karma if that ain't karma i don't know what is people oh is it hard is it hard to fix now <laughs> it's broken oh Fixed it. <laughs> okay, keep going, babe. No, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I, this is more of a no, meme. No, I won't tell. I won't tell the people that no, about my tacos more, that were good. Pe people know that this is kind of a meme of everyone just makes fun of Claire for being like a vegan, you know. So it's just kind of a joke. Okay, I actually. Wait, I'm not happy. vegan. We can't stay on vegan. Plant based diet, whatever. But <laughs> everyone knows it's just like a little meme. Okay, I wasn't actually falling asleep, but yeah, her vegan tacos. I had a little, little tiny bit. Not of the actual meat. It was just like the flake on the outside. Like it tastes the, like buffalo the sauce. the tofu, yeah. Yeah. The tofu. <laughs> the fried like tofu or whatever it was. I had a little bit, bit of the fried part, but it wasn't bad. It was good tacos. I'd rather have the pulled pork like I had, but. Speaking of being uh, vegan slash plant-based, I just want to know what it would take for you to become a plant-based eater because the truth is, is I don't think you ever will. <laughs> It would have to take a probably a genocide of all meat-based products for me to eat only plant. Like you're telling me you would never do it. You would never even try it for like a month. Nope. Why? Well, the thing is I have went on a diet where I only ate meat, which was keto, and I hated it. And I love meat. So I can't even imagine but you what don't, it would be like but you don't, not eating meat. But you don't think about it as a diet. You think about it as a lifestyle. Yeah, my lifestyle is just fine. Wake up, play video games, eat ba bad eat food. Eat Popeyes. <laughs> Popeyes, fried chicken, freaking steak, freaking hot dogs. I actually don't eat hot dogs. I eat pretty good. I take that as disrespect. Oh, you know what? what? Ever. About it. Are you, wait, are you actually going to sit here and tell me that you think you eat well? I would say my meals are more well-rounded than yours. Andrew, you eat fast food for about two of three meals every day. That is every not day. true what at you eat? all. What, okay, let me ask you this. Let's just, let me just prove my point right here. What, did, what have you eaten today? I had Popeyes. That's all you've eaten today? Yes. Okay. What did you eat for dinner last night? Uh, pizza. Um, what did you have for lunch yesterday? I think McDonald's. <laughs> Um, okay, now no, can, no, I no, get, no. can I give a little track record of why this happened this way? No, Lunch. no, this is I always recorded, your defense. No, 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 I record an IRL video. I didn't eat anything all day, and there was a McDonald's right there. I went to Mickey D's. My bad, but guess what? I had lettuce on my burger, <laughs> vegetables, eat it, bro. Pizza, I had like a chicken, tomato, spinach, like it was a healthy pizza, okay? No, there's healthy. no such thing. Popeyes, chicken. It's the most lean meat you can get. Boom. And I also had fries, which are potatoes. Boom. Healthy. What did you have? Keep asking me. No, what did you have for what did you have for lunch today? Today for lunch, yeah. I had a plate of broccoli. Boom. High in high in carbs. I had a tortilla. Boom. High in carbs. Carbs, carbs, carbs. But it was like this tortilla bread that has like no like processed I mean not processed, but like, you know, additive 
stuff that keeps it like having its shelf life so you have to refrigerate it and i put avocado and hummus on it fats hummus is okay i'll give you hummus. <laughs> that's because you just like hummus and then i had a little bit of applesauce with the cinnamon sugar terrible for you now mine i had protein carbohydrates fats well balanced yours was carbs 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 no carbs, there carbs, are carbs, there carbs, is carbs, a carb 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 <laughs> carb 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 claire's a carb claire's a carb <laughs> There's protein and broccoli. There's you know what? Here, let's just have a let's just have a lift hummus. off. Whoever can bench press more has no. a better diet. <laughs> I get bench press 150. I think we can just leave kidding. it to the people to tell us who they think has a better diet. Yeah. Let us know. Let us know. And she did choose two days where I have eaten. Let's go to last week, okay? Okay. The the amount of tuna I ate. Okay. No, 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 no. Hummus. No, tuna salad, which is just full of mayonnaise and crap. Don't even act like you eat healthy. I eat healthy. No, you don't, Andrew. Yes, I do. Andrew, no, you don't. Tell me I don't eat healthy. Okay, that, that. is just... Feel that. Whatever. Health, baby. That's a big old... <gasps> yes, that's karma. That's a big old Texas karma. Right, 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 babe. All right, yeah. Can you do this? <laughs> Try doing this. Look at this. Oh, is that a little heavy? You know why? Because all you eat is carbs. <laughs> no fat, no protein. Okay. Let's just end this thing before it gets hostile. Okay. More hostile. All right. Well, that's going to end up episode, what, five, four, three, two, one. I don't know. Couple on a couch. Kind of a weird one. Kind of all over the place. This is more This is more it's like typical. couples counseling. I don't know why you always say kind of weird one, kind of all over the place. Well, that's typical for us at this point. I'm saying like, I don't even think this is a podcast. It's more of like a couple's <laughs> self-counseling. Like yeah. we just yell at each other complain to each other it's kind of like you guys are our counselors and we're just well if that's not as open as it is you're not seeing these other couple channels do this you want to see another other couples channel podcast you already, here? You already did this here, here's an here's an average couples channel podcast when i look into your eyes i see a cloud no one says that and it's so beautiful no it makes that. me shout yeah we ain't those fake little fake losers okay everyone in a relationship knows Andrew, it's just stop. like ours so don't even act like you're just special Let's go. End it, babe. Why am I holding this mic? I don't it's know. Literally it's going to be so loud because you're just shoving it into your mouth. It's literally on a stand and I'm holding it. Okay, but you're it. shoving it into your mouth. <laughs> All right, you guys. So that is going to be it for today's video. Make sure before you leave to like and subscribe. And if you guys like these podcasts, let us know because they're actually really fun for us to make, even though it can be so hard to move all of the cameras and lights. <laughs> Was that a diss? I didn't even get affected by it. So, joke's on you. <gasps> Go eat your freaking soybeans. But we're out. We'll see you in the next one. Pound it. Noggin. See ya. That's Dude Perfect saying. I love it. I love Dude Perfect. Dude Perfect, if you're watching, shout out. Oh, my God. Okay. Bye. See you guys. I don't know how to stop this.